Glasgow's rough urbanscape with its many blank walls provides an inviting canvas for city-approved street artists. I love these huge murals. Yes, Glasgow's become famous for them. It's, uh, it's really a thing the city has embraced, and now the city council pay good street artists to put up big murals, and it avoids having just ugly tagging around the place. So they're taking that counterculture energy and they're turning it into something positive. Yes, there's even a city map you can follow a trail going around the city centre and seeing all these big murals. So this one's cool. The guy's trying yeah. to flag down the taxi and the balloons are <laughs> lifting it out of his reach. Yeah, well, the artist actually has put himself in the painting. He's the taxi driver. That's his face there. Oh, okay. And his name is Rogue One, which you can also see on the registration plate of the taxi. The other one up top there was the girl with the magnifying glass. That's by an artist called Smug. And, and there's so his name on the... pendant, yeah. Um, she looks like she's maybe picking someone up. Is it just uh, fanciful or is there some political well, meaning to that? Perhaps what she's uh, making a comment on there is actually the building that she's on the side of, that is a lap dancing club. So she's maybe picking up a small man who's going in there to the lap dancing. Oh, she's insulting the men that go <laughs> to the strip joint. Potentially. That is huge and just photorealistic. It's a nice one, eh? So this one actually probably represents our patron saint. See the halo around the back of his head? Yeah. And his name was Mungo. We're near to the cathedral. And one of his miracles was bringing a bird back to life. It's an old story in a modern city. Yes. <laughs>